Hey, what's going on guys? Ah, so once again, it's been a while. Man, it's been a while since I've been over here. So uh, yeah, once again, here for a safety inspection. Uh, for those who uh, have like Alzheimer's or uh, if you're new, uh, my name is Crow, all right? And I am the Gundam Safety Manager, all right? The GSM. So here we're gonna be taking a look at a new mobile suit. Uh, just came uh, fresh off the market apparently. Uh, I haven't seen this one yet. And this one is going to be on the Stra... What the fuck is this? Is this... Is this a goddamn joke? Steve, is this a, is this a joke? <laughs> but we're really sending a clear Gundam into the battlefield? Is that... Is that what we're doing? This place is a fucking nightmare. It's a goddamn death trap with a fucking accident waiting to happen. A clear mobile suit? I swear to fucking God, if I, if I get my hands on the goddamn hangar manager, it's not gonna be fun. Let's just put it that way. Just clear Gundam. See all the mechanical innards? Oh, that's a critical spot. Better shoot it. Who, where's, where's the manager? Where? This son of a bitch. All right, we're just gonna push through. We're just, we're just gonna push through. I'm gonna do the inspection. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. But I'm not fucking passing this. I'm just letting all you know. I'm not passing it. No, we're gonna we're gonna do the inspection the proper way, and this is gonna fucking fail. But anyways, so we're looking at the Strike Gundam. Now for the maker, we do have Orb, and we got like Earth Federation. So um, you really can't get this particular armor apparently, but uh, some similar parts that are probably going to be solid, not this clear shit. I've never seen this before in my life. But you can get this over at New Type, so uh, yeah, you can head over there and just submit the forms and uh, get those 1106 funds transferred, so that way we can purchase replaceable parts. But let's go to some more of the details. Uh, so this is going to be something that can, is compatible with packs, apparently. I've never seen any packs. It's got Ale Strike pack and all that. I don't know. I haven't seen this come through in the hangar, but uh, whenever we do get those, it is compatible with some of those packs. The pilot is going to be Kira Yamato. I never heard the kid. Uh, I'm assuming it's a kid because every little fucking pilot has been a kid. I, I, I'll pilot this fucking Gundam. I'm, I'm 33 years old. You know, I, I, I got enough knowledge on these Gundams, but they're not going to put me in the fucking pilot seat. Goddamn bastards. Next, we got the height. It's going to be at 17.72 meters in height. So it's, it's a little bit of a tall mobile suit. Uh, then we're going to have 64.8 metric tons, heavy, and uh, the phase shift armor is going to be the armor on the mobile suit. Uh, cool, let's go ahead and just get into the overall details of the suit. The shit's clear, it's just, it's, I, don't, I don't, like some parts are solid, that's, that's fine, but it's clear. It looks pretty simplistic too, I, you know, I, I, I gotta give it to them, they did a pretty simplistic job, so it looks like maybe... We can do some mass producing of this thing. It's, it's probably relatively cheap overall in comparison to some of the other mobile suits I've seen come through the hangar. Uh, so yeah, relatively cheap, I think. That's a pretty good thing. All right, next on my list, uh, let's go ahead and go through the articulation uh, just to make sure that it's safety and OSHA compliant. So let's go ahead and uh, move some of the body. All right, next we're gonna have is the the weapon. So let's uh, let's go ahead and move on to the testing site. All right, so for weapons, it you know it, it got the Vulcans. I get that. It got the little you know beam Vulcan things on its head. 
It, it just got knives? And... That's it? They really just gave the thing just two knives and said, good, good luck. Good luck in battle. Whoever Kira is, they don't give a fuck about this kid. They just think he's going to survive every battle. I, I, I don't think Kira fucking Yamato is going to even last like one fucking skirmish. It, he's going to sortie and he's going to fucking die. Got you know I, I, I'm canceling this. I'm canceling this mobile suit. It's it's not it's not compliant to OSHA. This thing is a goddamn just casket. That's all it is. It's a big ass casket for whoever dares to pilot that shit. You're gonna go out there and you're gonna make a fool of yourself. Now if I see some other armaments and I see some weapons, maybe even a pack or two. Hey, you know what? I, I may I just may do a little check in the box and turn a blind eye. But as of right now, this look, I, I, I can't I can't let this thing go out out there to fight the battle. We've been at this war for how many years? And, and this is what you're gonna come up with? No. No, that's not happening. So sorry, um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mark this as uh, not safety compliant. I'll give you some uh, you know some pointers and some some critiques if you want to actually make it compliant to the OSHA standards. I mean, otherwise, I, I can't do anything with this, guys. This is this is actually a sad day for uh, Gundams and for us as workers, mechanics. You know, maybe you didn't have a, a hand in this, but you should feel you should feel fucking disgusting. Honestly, I, I'm disgusted for you. This is like secondhand fucking embarrassment. So that's it, guys. Uh, I don't really have anything else to talk about with this thing. Just. Let's just push forward. I th hopefully, uh, you know, the next inspection we have is just something better. Just something better overall. So, all right, go ahead and uh, take a break, and I'll be uh, be getting you out the report pretty soon. All right, peace.